Hi, all you awesome YouTubers. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about the IYVIP350TVKPRF. Can you say that backwards? And what we're going to talk about it is, is we're going to talk about the mods that you can do to really take a good guitar and turn it into an amazing guitar on the cheap, really not expensive. Well, first, I'd like to send out some love to y'all, and thank you so much, every single person watching. Thank you. Appreciate you. Hey, today we're going to talk about modding this IYVIP. It's the 350 TVK PRS. Boy, that is a mouthful. And the few mods you can do to turn what's already a really great guitar and a great price into a really stellar playing pro instrument. And that's what we've done with this puppy, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to share all about it. For you, those that you don't, you don't do this stuff, trust me, it's not rocket science. It's doable. So you ask, is it playable right up out of the box? Absolutely playable. It's a really great, got great bone. Okay, so basically what we're going to do from here is very simple. We're going to demonstrate what each of the positions can do. In other words, we're going to start out with how it comes from the factory. Now, on my amp, all I have is the tone is right dead center in the middle at 12 o'clock. And then I have my volume up to about 4.5. And then if you notice, I've got just a teeny bit of spring reverb. It doesn't come in the amp. It's a little pedal. I'll show you which one. Right? Just a touch because it just gives a little bit more flavor. But we're going to try and keep it as clean as possible. So here we're going to demonstrate what it sounds like when you have your pots, or if you will, your push-pull switches in the down position. Okay? Okay and totally stock. Now, let's go to the bridge pickup. We're going to put it all the way down, and this is stock with the .033 cap. crisper but you haven't heard anything yet we haven't even tapped onto these and and split the coils yet right okay so that was all lower register so we'll do a quick demo of what it might sound like and I'm just gonna play some jazz chords up here what it might sound like a little bit farther up because this is a full 24 frets right so let's start up here <laughs> Let's go ahead and just go right to the neck pickup. Okay, so that's the neck pickup. Now let's put them together and now you'll get a little taste of that. Okay, so there's the two of them together. Now we'll start playing. 
What we're going to do is first off, we're going to go to the neck pickup and we're going to split it. So this will be just the neck pickup split. Now you'll notice that the volume drops a little bit, but I actually did put in a resistor and I'll show you the, I'll show you the math and I'll show you the resistor on a, on a separate pick as we're doing this so that you can see what type of resistor I used. Okay. I believe this one's a 1K. This is split. Normally the volume really drops. So. Okay, so there's that one. Then let's go up high. Really tight. right and that's the neck pickup split pretty neat not too bad right so let's go ahead and now we can blend so now you have this pickup which is our bridge and that's the double humbucking right that's the double and then we have this one which is single so I'm just gonna run through some chords real quick <laughs> to the bridge and this time we're going to split the bridge okay we'll just go ahead and leave that up because it doesn't influence it as long as we're in the bridge it's independent so now it's you're going to hear this real crisp thing happening so wow hear the tonal difference really makes a difference cool sound so it's not like a strat it's not like a telly i'm not saying it is it's just different tonal qualities what we're always looking for right okay so i'm going to put them both up and i'm going to put her in the middle now we have two single coils working that's it right <laughs> a nice tight low end but it's still got sparkle on the top like a single coil right so pretty nice right I mean and it's not that hard of a mod to do so I'll take a quick you can do this okay practice your soldering a bit if you're not very good at it don't be freaked out about it just get yourself some wire and practice a bit and watch a couple of videos six string is a really big one I'll put a link to him because he really helped me out um excellent soldering lessons as well as modding lessons um don't forget at the end of this i'm gonna i'm gonna toss you an opportunity to get what i used as far as a wiring schematic for this too so stick around okay so for this one we're going to change amps because this one just has such a sweet tone to it and don't forget you know, it's neat to, to have a bunch of different guitars and a bunch of different mods and all that stuff. 
But when it comes down to it, the work, the amp does a lot of the work to create and shape your tone. Okay, we're going to turn her up a bit. And all I'm going to do is just like play a couple of chords. And we're going to start the exact same way. So we're in the neck pickup. I got the, the tone all the way forward. In other words, bright, right? The volume is pretty much all the way up. And one of the other mods that we did is, uh, I did, is went in and I shielded the entire cab, all the cavities, I shielded them. And if you notice, I've got this thing cranked pretty hard. You can barely hear it. It's very quiet. This is a killer guitar. I'm telling you, man, this is a killer guitar for just about any tone. So we got it cranked up with some heavy overdrive, and then we're just going to do some, some chords. They're pretty good sound and pickup. bridge nice little uh bridge everything about this guitar okay so here we're gonna go now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drop it down into the bridge and do that same lick <laughs> difference do you hear it that's what counts okay now same lick okay one more time Okay, one more time, back up to the neck. Feel the bottom kick in there, okay? That's just the stock pickup sound. Now watch what happens. So now we're going to go, we're in the neck pickup. I'm going to take this, I'm going to push that tone all the way as bright as I can get it. And even single coil. Just a teeny bit of hum. And I got it cranked pretty good, right? Okay, we're going to do that same lick. Or pretty close. Right? Okay. Not too bad, right? Tonal difference. This is what I'm saying. It's all about tonal difference. Yeah, you could buy a bazillion guitars. But do you want to pay a lot of money to a big company? And I'm not even going to name names that you're just going to get the same tones. We're all looking for a wide variety of tonal difference. I'm giving you an option. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so now we'll kick that one down, right? And we'll put it in the center position. No, actually, let's leave it up. So we, now we have a single coil and a humbucker together. You get it? Feel the bottom kick in? That's what it's all about. Right? That's what it's all about. Okay. Now, let's take and we're going to split them. I got it in the center. So now we have two single coils. Now, the noise picks up a little bit, the floor. But it's still, I'm, I'm cranked into overdrive. And just a little bit of noise. So it really does make a difference to shield your cavities. And in this case, I've got resistors on both these so that we don't lose as much volume drop. Okay? So here we go, same lick. 
exciting right and all we're gonna do is we've got all by itself bridge split right <laughs> is a great guitar to do these mods on okay so now we're in we've got the neck pickup split and all we're gonna do is give you some upper tones <laughs> Now, just the neck pickup, but now we've got the double humbucker. Okay, so now let's move to the bridge pickup. Now, we got the double humbucking first, the whole pickup, right? Double humbucking. Now let's split it. We're just gonna pull that volume or the tone pot up. Hear it? Can you hear it? I hope you can. It's so exciting to be able to just with the 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 thing up so who's this guitar for well do you like to play rock do you like to play the blues do you like to play you could even do jazz i just showed you right we could go to clean right and as we're as i'm wrapping this thing up we can go to clean and do some right split them right really nice colorful tones right So who would do a do a thing like this, right? On a rock guitar? Well, I would. So here it is from a different amp. There's my little Spark 40, right? Different amp. got them both on right they're split though right so you hear the 
volume drop a little bit. Now, I can put it into the, okay, into the neck and into the bridge. Just hear the... Okay, so let's go through the IYB wiring here. First off, there's our color code. I did not make up this little chart, and I'd like to know the guy who did and thank him because it was really helpful to me. So I'll pass it on to you as compared to the Seymour Duncan wire. Okay, so here we have our neck pickup and our bridge pickup. And the goal of this is to be able to split the neck and the bridge independently and then also put them together using our double pull, double throw, push pull 500K pots. Okay, so basically let's break it down. Your hot lead is out of your um, a north start is going to your switch for both pickups in their proper position, neck, bridge. Be sure and double check that, okay? Or just be pay particular attention when you take it apart and mark them with a, a Sharpie, okay? Black. And this gray wire is our bare wire. Get grounded to the top of either the volume pot or the tone pot on both pickups. Then for our neck pickup, we're gonna to go to the center lug of the double pull, double throw switch on top of the volume. So when we pull that switch out, it will split this pickup to the south side. Okay, with the bridge, we're going to take that green and white wire and we're going to take them down. We're going to put it in the center lug of the tone pot. So when we pull this one, we'll get a split on the bridge and it will be the south side that is active. Okay. <clears throat> on the switch itself, we've already got these two covered. We're going to make sure it's grounded and we're going to take that hot lead and we're going to go to the volume pot. In this case, on the left hand side and continue it on to the tone pot, which is inverted on its left hand side as well. Be sure and ground your volume pot on one side. Okay, so while we're talking about grounding, make sure your bridge is grounded too. Make sure you got that wire at attached to um, the volume pot. Okay, so next and um, we're, we'll just go ahead and we'll just take our hot out of our our final hot out to our output jack to the insulated side and then our ground to our ground side. Okay, um, then we're gonna take, and this is kind of cool. We're gonna take a 1K resistor. Now you can experiment with your own values, but I chose a 1K resistor because frankly, it's what I had. And as it turned out, it turned out really nice for our neck pickup. So when I split it, that signal is going through that 1K resistor. Thus, the volume does not drop as much as it would if I were just going straight to ground. On the bridge side, I used a 2K resistor and it worked out just great as well. For our capacitor, I used a 0.033 UF capacitor and that's somewhere in between the range of the 0.022 that you'd normally use for a humbucking pickup and the 0.047 that you'd normally use for a split or if you will single coil pickup okay so if you have any questions by all means throw it in the comments below thanks for listening and by all means if you have a twist on this that turns out to be really great you know, put that in the comments too, you know, let's share the wealth here. It's a no-brainer, man. If you want a decent guitar, goodness gracious, look at the pattern in it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Now, remember, this is black and gray. I have some blue lighting here, so, okay, check it out. You know what? Hey, and if you like what you've seen on this channel, you know, I'll wait till the last bit here. By all means, subscribe. I'm going to do a bunch more like guitar reviews, but I'm also going to do some keyboard stuff, some MIDI stuff, learning how to use your DAW stuff, maybe a little songwriting stuff. So if you like this style, 
my style, whatever, and you learn something today, please subscribe, you know, hit the bell for notifications if you want to be notified of my upcoming videos. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Be well. Sending you love. Take care.